everyone and welcome back to my channel Come on. so today i'm gonna be making a little bit of a different video I did my hair and everything for you guys but i'm going to be doing an art collection video because if some of you didn't know i am an artist don't just disregard that <laughs> But some of you don't know, I am an artist and I paint, I draw, I do everything. You can check out my Instagram and see what I do. Make art prints, do custom jeans. I do everything basically. So I'm going to show you what I use as of right now. My art supplies that I have and I plan to get some more and some different kinds. But for right now, this is what I have. So let's get right into the video. Oh, I forgot to mention, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join my channel. So for the first things that I use, I like to paint on canvas, on clothing, on anything. For all of those, I basically use the same kind of paint, which is acrylic paint. Now, the type of acrylic paint I use is just any regular acrylic paint. In my opinion, they all work the same. I don't really know the difference. So the ones that I use are from Target. I keep them in this bucket. Sorry, let me just... I keep them in this bucket right here. It's just a red bucket and it has all my acrylic paint in it. Now, when I first started painting, I used to only have black, white, red, yellow, and blue. Because if you didn't know those are primary colors, you can make any color out of those colors. And I did. But then, you know, I got a gift from a friend. And they got me all these different colors. And I'm not gonna lie, it made it a lot easier to paint. Like, cause at first you can make any other color with those re regular colors, those primary colors. But at the same time, like sometimes you'll wanna make them, you know, a little bit easier. So it doesn't take as much time to be sitting there mixing all this paint, blah, blah, whatever. So I have all of these colors right here. And I have <laughs> these two, these colors, and this gray. The last things I have are this black and this white. Now all these, honestly work the same i really don't notice the difference i will say though i do keep them in this bin but i plan to have like a little cabinet or something with like some drawers or something that i keep all of my art supplies in because this bin works but i mean i just don't want to take up so much space so when i do paint i use these palettes they're a little dirty right now but i use these palettes they came in a pack of like six i think i'm not gonna lie they were from the dollar store and came in a pack of six and they work for me so i used to use plates like plastic plates but we upgraded to palettes i'm about to upgrade again and just get a big palette i think i don't know yet but i just use napkins regular napkins honestly like i don't know if it's like a black people thing or anything but we just collect random napkins from anywhere we go any food place you just get the napkins you keep them those are the napkins i use when i paint because you you know you gotta wet your brush you gotta wipe it on the napkin get your paint this is the wet your brush on the napkin you know the drill one tip i would say when you use acrylic paint is take your time i know a lot of people when it comes to acrylic paint they don't really think there's much that you can do with it because it's just so many solid colors and you know i mean i feel like i create kind of you know fancy art a little bit i'm going to show you some examples and i also think that you can get as creative as you want with acrylic paint you can get as realistic as possible as cartoon as possible whatever your style is if you need a paint that you think would work for it, I definitely recommend acrylic paint for any stuff. <laughs> okay, so next, I have these paint markers, they're Posca. I know these are a big thing on TikTok, and I was so excited when I got these. Like, no. Now, I only have this little pack. These come in really big packs of like 60 plus and everything, hundreds of different colors, everything. And I definitely would recommend that, and one day I plan to get those. But for right now, I have these, and they work so good. I love these markers, I would use them every day. The only thing about these though, you can't use them on clothes, which I wish you could, but they are water-based, so it's not like with acrylic paint where you can just mix it with the medium and use it, but canvas painting, oh my gosh, I love these markers. They're so good, and they're so, like, satisfying to use, you know, like, they have, like, a smooth, <laughs> a smooth, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I do mix my paint with the medium, I use this one, Delta Creative, it's from Amazon, and it's just an acrylic medium. <clears throat> an acrylic medium and it's a textile medium if you didn't know textile is basically fabric so that is what i use and i recommend for any painter to use a paint cup just a, this is the paint cup i use it's random just use a random cup in your house and just designate that for your paint cup because i know when i was a kid and some kids these days they'll just go in the kitchen and get a freaking glass and just use that and put it in the sink i'm like you don't want to keep using these glasses that people drink out of. Just get a designated paint cup. Pretty simple. This one has these little ridges in there. And I use them when the paint is like really hard to get off. And I just go 
rub it against the ridge and it helps come off easy. These are all my paintbrushes. I keep them in this little container thing that I got from Five Below. It came with like a face mask in there, I think. And here they are. I'm not gonna lie, these paintbrushes are from all over the place. Speaking of Five Below, I know Five Below has like a lot of art stuff in there. I'm not really sure how good it works. I think it works pretty good. I know some of these paintbrushes are from there. I think these ones, the ones that look like this, are from Five Below. Yeah. And the other ones are just from, you know, just random places I collected over time. Random paint brushes. And I have these paint sponges too. You know, these are just regular paint sponges. They're from like Target or something. And they work fine. I don't really use them that much because I'm more of a brush person. But, but maybe I'll use them one day. I don't know yet. Well, I also have some watercolor paints that my friend's mom gave me. They're in this bag right here. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't used them yet because I'm actually trying to study watercolors right now to see how they really work because they've always kind of been like a mystery to me. You know, watercolors can get really messy and stuff, but I just wanna make sure that I'm using them right and using them in a good way. That's all I have for paint, and if I do recommend anything for in painting, I recommend that you just start painting random things, do what you want, because everyone loves art and everyone loves to paint, even though people like to front, like they don't care about art they do and i know they do everyone appreciates art so what you gotta do next up we have the supplies i use for drawing so right now i have these pencils that my sister got me i think she got them from like her school store like her college store or whatever and they just come in all the different colors you have 2a 2b 8 hb you know all the different colors and like from dark to light all the different colors for pencils it's really important to have different color pencils if you didn't know because when you shade you can shade with a really dark pencil and it won't really look that good depending on what you're painting so you want to take a light pencil and shade but when you outline you want to use a darker pencil you know, drawing with pencil is kind of difficult, not gonna lie. And I'm not the best at it, but I think it's really important to have different color pencils because you never know what colors you'll need and which ones will work best for what you're drawing. I also have these super fine pens that I got from Five Below. I only use them once. They come in different sizes too. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, and a brush tip. You can't see that. Not gonna lie, I only used it one time, so... I don't really know how good they work. I mean, it worked fine when I used it. They just weren't that dark, but it could have just been the tip I used. You never know. You just never know. So I definitely recommend if you are a person who draws and you like to do cartoons and stuff, then you get some fine tip pens, pen, fine tip pens, and those will really help you out. And the last thing I have for the, I don't know, handheld supplies is like these oil pastel packs that I also got from a friend. And don't get me wrong, I don't get everything my friends they just notice that i'm an artist and over the years when it comes to like birthdays or anytime to celebrate christmas they give me art supplies which is where some of our supplies has came from before that i used to buy my own i still buy my own but before that when i used to buy my own that's when i had the solid colors which i still recommend and that is when i had the pencils but i had a different pack of pencils but they were the same like different colors i don't know what happened to those sorry to tell you I had those, I had oil pastels, I had everything, you know, from just those little art kits from Crayola. Everything works, like, believe it or not, right now when I color, I still use those Crayola color pencils and markers, everything, like, it's not that serious. You can make them look good depending on what you use, to be honest, like, the way you use it is all that really matters. You don't have to spend a million dollars on art supplies, at least in my experience. I don't know yet, but I haven't yet. Oh, and when it comes to paint, I also forgot, I forgot to mention I have these little, like, paint mixers. I forgot what they're called, but I use them to mix my paint around, you know, spread it, make different colors. Use these to mix my paints, and I definitely recommend some of these. Or you can use, like, a plastic knife or anything, really, anything that's a freaking popsicle stick. Use anything that'll mix the paint colors together. Any person who, you know, paints or draws, there's different types of papers for them. I use canvas paper. I've painted on canvases, just regular canvases that you can get anywhere like Target, Marshalls, Michaels, Art Supply Store, anywhere, anything you want to do. I also draw on drawing paper. There's these big drawing pads that they sell. They sell them at Target, sell them at Five Below. Five Below also sells these really pretty sketchbooks that I used to use those. Um, and just, I recommend when you do make art, you kind of want to like if you focus on paint then i would focus on canvas paper or painting paper to have which they sell for a little bit cheap at target and if you more so draw then i recommend getting sketchbooks or 
you know, those big pull-out sketchbooks of drawing paper because, you know, the better material you use, well, <laughs> the more specific the material you use to what you're doing, it'll come out nicer and it'll just be better. Now, as an artist, I always recommend having a pair of scissors. Kind of common sense, but you want to have a pair of scissors, some glue, school glue really doesn't matter, glue stick, because I make things where I use those without insert. And I always recommend just get as much, gather as much supplies as you can from around you. Do what you gotta do. Like, you don't have to spend a million dollars to be an artist. As far as selling your art, I'm gonna make a separate video on that because honestly, I'm still figuring that out myself. But I do have some resources that I can help you guys to find because you might have a better platform and, you know, you might be able to really go out there with your art. So yeah, I'll make a separate video on that. But that is what I have today for my art supplies. I just want to say thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Sorry, there's no music, but it cut getting copyrighted, so we had to cut it out. Da, 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 da. Yeah.